The Sacred Heart Novena Prayer. Day 4. O sweetest heart of Jesus, to whom shall I turn in all my sorrow, if not to you, the faithful friend of our souls? You have given your very life for me. How then can you refuse me your assistance during my life? It is true, indeed, and I must confess this to you, that instead of relying on you only, I have too often trusted to the love and friendship of creatures, although I had frequently experienced their treachery. If I have thus insulted you in the past, I promise in the future never to repeat the offense. I promise henceforth in all my doubts, afflictions, and needs, I will have recourse to you only to find light, help, comfort, and grace. Henceforth, you alone shall be my friend. Upon you alone will I rely. Your friendship shall be above all others. In fact, I promise to renounce all other friendships if they are an occasion of disloyalty to you. To manifest my perfect trust in you, I now beg you to help me in my present need. Oh, I pray to my strong defense. Be to me a medicine for immortality. By kindly granting this request, You will unite my heart more closely with yours and make me forever grateful for your love. Do not permit my trust in you to be confounded, O eternally faithful, benevolent, and sweet heart of Jesus. O divine Jesus who has said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened to you. Behold me prostrate at your feet. Animated with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips, I come to ask your aid. From whom shall I ask, O sweet Jesus? Is not from you whose heart is an inexhaustible source of all graces and merits? Where shall I seek if not from the treasure which contains all the riches of your clemency and bounty? Where shall I knock? if it not be at the door of your sacred heart through which God himself comes to us and through which we go to God. To you then, O heart of Jesus, I have recourse. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when overwhelmed with trials and light in doubt and darkness. I firmly believe you can bestow on me the grace I implore even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I know I am most unworthy of your favors, O Jesus, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercies, and you will not refuse a contrite and humble heart. Cast upon me a look of pity, I conjure you, and your compassionate heart will find in my miseries and weakness a pressing motive for granting my petition. But, O Sacred Heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never cease to adore, love, praise, and serve you. Deign, O Jesus, to accept my act of perfect submission to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by me and all your creatures forever and ever. Amen. Act of Consecration to the Sacred Heart of Jesus Most sweet Jesus, Redeemer of the human race, look down upon us humbly prostrate before your altar. We are yours, and yours we wish to be, but to be more surely united with you, behold each one of us who freely consecrate themselves today to your sacred heart. Many indeed have known you. Many too, despising your precepts, have rejected you. Have mercy on them all, most merciful Jesus, and draw them to your sacred heart. Be you king, O Lord, not only of the faithful who have never forsaken you, but also of the prodigal children who have abandoned you. Grant that they may quickly return to their father's house lest they die of wretchedness and hunger. 
be you, king of those who are deceived by erroneous opinions or whom discord keeps aloof, and call them back to the harbor of truth and the unity of faith, so that soon they may be but one flock and one shepherd. Grant, O Lord, to your church assurance of freedom and immunity from harm. Give peace and order to all nations, and may the earth resound from pole to pole with one cry, praise to the divine heart that wrought our salvation. To it be glory and honor forever. Amen. <laughs>